Hello everyone, welcome to Exadmi Redefining Education. So this is the lecture of forecasting. So let's continue with that. So in this lecture, we will talk about the time series analysis or time series method. So under that, we have the first method, which is simple average method. And so in short, we can write this as SAM. It's very simple. Simply, you need to take the average. So the question is find the forecast for the fifth period using simple average method. And this is the data given to you. So for first period, the demand was 50 units for second period. It was 30 units for third period. It was 20 units and for fourth period, it was 40 units. So what you have to do here is you have to find the forecast for the fifth period. So what will I do? I will write forecast for the fifth year is is equal to what? average of all these because this method is simple average method so simply you need to take the average so 50 plus 30 plus 20 plus 40 divided by how many terms are there periods 4 so what is this 50 plus 30 80 plus 20 100 100 plus 40 is 140 and so 140 if you divide this with 4 you will get this as 35 so you can fill this table and so for the demand for the fifth period will be 35 units fine moving to second method which is moving average method so in short you can call this as to be ma'am moving average method so find the forecast for the fourth period using three period moving average method so three period moving average method. So here you have been given the data for four periods and you're asked to calculate what is the forecast for the fourth period using the three period moving average uh, method. So it should be fifth period because the fourth period is also already given. So we are interested to find the forecast for the fifth period using three period moving average method. So in this method, what you have to do, you have to take the latest three data. That means this one is the latest. This one is further latest and this one is latest. So latest three data because three period data you have to take. So here I need to take forecast for the fifth period. I'll be writing 40 plus 20 plus 30 divided by since you are taking uh, for the three period so it will be divided by three and this will be what 40 plus 20 60 plus 30 is 90 divided by three is how much it's 30 so the forecast for the fifth period is 30 okay now say suppose you are asked to calculate the forecast for the fourth period using three period moving average method so for fourth period that means i have to find for these three latest data for fourth period these three will be my latest data for fifth period these three will be my latest data so let's find the forecast for the fourth period depending on this table so this will be what 20 plus 30 plus 50 divided by 3 again so this is how much 30 plus 20 is what 50 plus 50 is what 100 divided by 3 is 33.3 Okay, so F4 is nothing but forecast for the fourth period using three period moving average method and F5 which is forecast for the fifth period is this much. Okay, 30 using the three, uh, three period moving average method. Why it is called moving average because here you can see the data are moving. So that is why uh, it is called moving average method. Then we have weighted moving average method. So here what you have to do is importance is given only to some data, right? So just like this. So this is the formula FT plus one is equal to WT multiplied with 80 plus WT minus one into 80 minus one. So as you as the data becomes old, the weight is also reduced. Okay. And these are the weight fractions, which whose summation is one. So how to solve the problem? So we'll learn that. So here, what is T signify? T signifies the current period. FT plus one signifies the forecast for the next period. N signifies that N is the forecasting horizon. How far back we look, okay? And A is the actual sales figure from each period. And W is the importance or weight we give to each period. So let's understand that with one numerical. 
फाइंड द फोरकास्ट फॉर द फिफ्थ पीरियड यूजिंग फोर पीरियड वेटेड मूविंग एवरेज ओके सो हियर वी हैव द डेटा फॉर फाइव पीरियड फोर पीरियड्स एंड यू आर आस्ट टू कैलकुलेट वॉट इज द फोरकास्ट फॉर द फिफ्थ पीरियड वॉट इज द फोरकास्ट फॉर द फिफ्थ पीरियड सो हियर वॉट वी विल डू इज सिंस हियर वी हैव टू कंसिडर फोर पीरियड सो डेफिनेटली वी हैव टू कंसिडर द लेटेस्ट फोर सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट दिस इज सेकेंड दिस इज थर्ड एंड दिस इज फोर्थ फाइन नाउ हियर आई विल बी राइटिंग वन टू थ्री एंड फोर वाई हैव रिटर्न लाइक दिस बिकॉज दिस शुड बी गिवेन द लेटेस्ट वन डेटा शुड बी गिवेन मोर वेट्स बट यू शुड बी कॉशियस दैट द समेशन ऑफ दीज शुड बी वन सो इफ आई एड दिस हियर सो दिस वॉट इज दिस टू प्लस वन थ्री थ्री प्लस थ्री सिक्स सिक्स प्लस फोर टेन which is not making one right so here what will i do is i will write weight fractions weight fractions so make another table for weight fractions and then divide each term by the summation of these so what is the summation of these 10 so here i'll be writing 1 by 10 here i'll be writing 2 by 10 here i'll be writing 3 by 10 here i'll be writing 4 by 10 now if you add these you will get 1 so that is the only condition that you have to uh, take care now what is the forecast for the fifth period so forecast for the fifth period is what simply i need to multiply this with their weight fractions and add so here i'll be writing 40 into 4 by 10 this is the first term plus 20 into 3 by 10 20 into 3 by 10 then we have 30 into 2 by 10 what is happening 20 into 3 by 10 20 into 3 by 10 and then we have plus 30 into 2 by 10 30 into 2 by 10 and then the last one is 15 into 1 by 10 15 into 1 by 10 so let's solve this So zero zero gets cancelled. This is four four is a sixteen. Then zero zero gets cancelled. Three two is a six. Zero zero gets cancelled. Three two is a six. Then zero zero cancelled. Five one is a five. So what is this? Six plus six, twelve. Then we have twelve plus sixteen. Twelve plus sixteen is twenty eight. Plus five is thirty three. So this is thirty three. So this is the answer that we got as the forecast. for the fifth period using four period moving average method so let's me check if there is any mistake here four period moving weighted moving average that's absolutely fine 16 28 yeah this is wrong it should be 33 this is your correct answer so here basically you what you have to do is you have to give some weights and then you have to go for the for uh, just like the previous method find the forecast for the 6th period using 5 period weighted moving average method so let's solve this once again so here we are interested to solve for the 6th period right so for the 6th period do the give the same weights again so here we have to solve for 5 period weighted moving average method so let me give 1 2 3 4 5 5 what is the total sum 5 plus 4, 9 plus 3, 12 plus 2, 14 plus 1, 15. So weight fractions will be 1 by 15, 2 by 15, 3 by 15, 4 by 15, and then 5 by 15. All right. So forecast for the sixth period will be 35 into 5 by 15, and then plus 40 into 4 by 15, plus 20 into 3 by 15. and then 30 into 2 by 15 and then we have 50 into 1 by 15 all right now let's solve this 35 into 5 divided by 15 if you do you will get 11.66 then 40 into 4 divided by 15 if you do you will get 10.66 and then 20 into 3 divided by 15 you will get as 4 then this is 15 to the 30 2 to the 
then we have 50 divided by 15 which is 3.33 so if you add these all you will get 3.33 plus 4 plus 4 plus 10.66 plus 11.66 you will get 33.65 33.653 okay so this is your correct answer so here also it's a mistake the correct answer will be 33.653 fine so find the forecast for the sixth period using five period weighted moving average method you need to solve like this all right so next question once again so find the forecast for the fifth period using three period weighted moving average so here you have to take the latest three so which are the latest three this this and this so now let's assign the weight so here i'll be writing one two and this as three what is the total three plus two five plus one six so here i'll be writing one by six then two by six and then three by six so forecast for the fifth period will be what 40 into 3 by 6 plus 20 into 2 by 6 plus 30 into 1 by 6 what is this 3 2 and then 20 so this is 20 then we have 20 divided by 3 which is 6.66 and this is 5 plus 5 plus 20 you will get as 31.66 so this is the forecast for the fifth period using three period mo weighted moving average method this is also wrong so this is your correct answer 31.66 okay so now the la in last one which is exponential smoothening method we will see in the last I means in the next lecture okay so digest all these three different methods see you in the next lecture till then bye